हाई स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर नवीन कुमार झा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन इंग्लिश आर एच जी एस कॉलेज अहल्या स्थान वी आर दीज डेज टॉकिंग अबाउट ए वर्ल्ड क्लास नेम्ड नाउन फॉर लास्ट मेनी डेज वी हैव बिन टेकिंग इन टू अकाउंट दिस वर्ल्ड क्लास बिकॉज ऑफ सर्टन रीजन we can say that uh, in english world class plays a very important role that uh, it uh, makes us know how to use the words into the sentence from the nature of english we know that uh, a word class is just to identify the word so that we can use the word in the sentence in a very proper way without any kind of errors now we know that uh, here the placement of the word in a sentence is so important to a certain a certain meaning of the sentence because sometimes you can say uh, due to interchange of the uh, place of the words in the sentence meaning also undergoes a change now in contrast to sanskrit where placement does not play any important role because the words there are coming into a definite form here we have the placement that is just a deciding factor to uh, ascertain and to signify the words with their semantic meaning now here when we did talk about proper noun study we had made some remarkable features of proper noun by which we can identify the word very clearly in the sentence or when we have a word in the mind to use we should know to what word class does it belong within the noun we should know that the word class belongs to either proper noun or common noun or another kind of noun now this time when we are talking about common noun we should see that it is common noun because it is a class name it is why it is said that a common noun refers to a class of noun in which we keep some items belonging to it it is uh, just in this way we can analyze this statement that we find that there are many many classes of items a particular word talks about a particular kind of class and within that class we can say there are numerous items or members members which are coming now for example when you talk about the word like a student we can say here a student becomes a class word and we also know that within that class a student there are many many students maybe some students are intelligent some students are not intelligent some students are indian some students are african some students are americans and so on so in all parts of the world there is a class of people which is the class of a student and now this word student covers all the students belonging to the whole world so what do you mean by that kind of explanation that it has so many members within it now we can say that when we are talking about proper noun it was simply proper it proper in the sense that it specify just one item not all the items it signify just one name not all names as we explained yesterday but when we say a common noun it does not explain one item once again we can say that when you are talking about father you know here it implies that it uh, indicates all the fathers of the world irrespective of caste creed religion place and so on so uh, we find that uh, we have uh, just made a bigger class Uh, of father we have made a bigger class of uh, son we have made a bigger class of mother and student and teacher 
these are all classes that we have made because you know within these classes there are many many people or many many objects or many many items which are falling so saying just one uh, class name that is the common noun we indicate all the members or objects belonging to that thing so it is not a name to a particular thing yes we cannot say when we are saying teacher we mean teacher Naveen no it is not like that that we can mean by that way by saying Naveen we are particular of one uh, just, just calling one person only but when you are saying teacher we are not particular about saying teacher called Naveen or Arun and so on we simply mean teacher as a class teacher as a group so it is rightly said that it does not have any particular thing to hint at it never hints at one particular member by its uh, just a uh, uh, name and so on it is once again naming but it is naming of class while in naming in proper noun was naming of one item only just it was not going to talk about one particular name and so on so it is why it is used in both singular and plural uh, numbers we have just told that uh, just uh, a common noun uh, includes many many objects many many members within it so uh, there are many many numbers of uh, members in one particular class now when you say doctor now you already know that we are not talking about one doctor so what happens we are talking about all the doctors by saying only word doctor doctor uh, is honest in his service here in the sentence we mean that doctor does not imply one particular doctor who age in service but when say we say that dr mr sinna is honest then with doctor common noun we have used proper noun also mr sinna because we are concerned here with one particular doctor only uh, named sinna mr sinna so here in that way we can make the difference when we say doctor is honest in the is service we mean that we are making a general statement it is the general uh, observation about uh, just the doctor in the world working uh, his uh, profession honestly just a doctor is fighting against corona here what do we mean by saying doctor is fighting against corona we mean that we are not talking about one doctor rather we are talking about all the doctors of the walls who are fighting against corona now our point is that so uh, it includes many many doctors likewise when we are talking about dog cat tree uh, and the father mother pencil uh, and so on we mean that we are talking about many many pencils within that class we are talking about many many uh, just stars within that class you know and naturally uh, there are many numbers there are more than one numbers within that class so it is uh, just either in singular number that you are using that common noun into the sentence or in plural number now uh, we notice that here very much idea of number of a singular and plural to describe the noun is uh, mostly used for describing a common noun because we already know that common noun uh, includes many many members within it within that class so it has uh, either one just item of common noun to use in the sentence in uh, in particular sentence or just we are talking about many many a person or, or just members uh, in a particular sentence so we can say that a few doctors are not honest when uh, just we have not made a general observation about the work of doctor among all the doctors we are talking about a few but they are many in numbers so they have been used into plural numbers here and we can say only one doctor is dishonest in this hospital what do we mean here we mean here that among many doctors working in this hospital just one is not working honestly so it is in this way we can understand that the uh, just a common noun is generally used in both the numbers in the sentences 
in sentence particularly depending upon the meaning or the sense that you have in our mind before you are using so you are just uh, making the uh, number of the sentence so it is generally said that uh, it is used in both numbers singular and plural in the sentence age and uh, just the idea of uh, countability and uncountability sometimes we also uh, divide noun in terms of countable noun and uncountable noun because here just when we are talking about number number simply means the just a uh, idea of countability when we can count only then we can say that something is in plural number and th there are just uh, more than one items one members in that kind of thing so uh, it, it is the idea of a number which is very much associated with countability of the number when we are talking about number it means we are going to count that uh, in terms of natural number and something like that so here mathematically speaking i have described that thing that it is just a, um, a countable noun we can say mostly we find that common nouns are countable but uh, there are some nouns which are not countable we can also say that uh, because common noun is used uh, uh, in singular and plural number so even we are using uh, just a doctor is working here we are talking about one doctor but that is countable we have counted the number in terms of 1 2 3 4 and because you have counted the number in terms of 1 2 3 4 we can say it has become countability and so we can describe the common noun in terms of countability so the main features of common noun is uh, is just uh, uh, in, in, in like this or uh, we can sum up the main features that common noun is a class name it covers a class second point is that within that class there are many many numbers there are many many just uh, members also now thirdly it is not a particular naming of particular thing it is the naming of the whole class so it is general naming we also say and next point is that it is just very much defined or just explained in terms of on the criterion of number so common noun is either in singular number or plural number uh, or we can also say that because it has just to be defined or described in terms of the criterion called number it is generally uncount uh, sorry countable noun because we start from one or it may just go up to many many uh, just uh, members of that common noun so mostly you find that common noun is uncount uh, sorry countable noun and uh, uh, we also notice one important point uh, uh, here that uh, that is relating related to use of article we see that uh, a and n articles are generally used uh, with common noun just 90% uh, common nouns uh, are associated with a and n article because here once again we can say that that article a and n just are uh, used where noun is to be counted or just when we we'll see that a doctor is here it means we have counted the number of doctor that is one in terms so uh, we should just uh, think uh, very properly and seriously that uh, the relation of uh, just uh, article with uh, common noun is very pro promptly established now these are uh, just some features which you have described in nutshell of common noun now as yesterday we had made a list of uh, the things which may belong to proper noun today also we have the list of things which may belong to uh, a common noun these uh, list are going to help us identify common noun very easily so when you are talking about class of uh, human being you know just it is not the class of one particular just man just when you say that Ram Shah Mohan it is the class of one particular man so that is proper noun but it is a class of human being as such so within human being we can say there is a class of man there is a class of woman there is a class of child you know uh, there are different classes within uh, just uh, um, the class of human being so man is uh, common noun woman is common noun child is common noun maybe father and uh, brother these are also classes within human being so we can say these are all uh, common nouns now we can also say that uh, within the class of a student there are 
certain classes like class of boy class of uh, girl we can see the big class is here student so a student itself is uh, just uh, a common noun because it is the bigger class within that bigger class we can say there is a small class like class of boy class of girl so we can say that this small class of boy and girl is also a uh, common noun so now uh, we have a uh, stationary but within a stationary there are many many items so they are forming different classes that uh, there is a class of copy so it is one stationary item it has its own class and there is a class of pen class of book class of pencil class class of pen so we can say these are all the um, sub classes of stationary but these sub classes are also including so many uh, just members within so we can say that uh, they are all common nouns so we can say copy pen book pencil uh, and pen are all common nouns in that sense then uh, when we are talking about a bigger class uh, say animal we can say that within animal there are many many just uh, classes of animals say there is a class of cat there is a class of dog horse cow buffalo ox so uh, animal uh, itself is a class it is a bigger class we can say and within that bigger class we see there are so many smaller classes of animals that i have just named so uh, animal itself is a common noun and uh, there are so many smaller classes uh, so they are also common nouns so uh, we can say we can make a bigger class and within that bigger class there are some smaller classes and so they are all just what you can call uh, just the, and when it is the nature of classification that uh, we first make a bigger class and within that bigger class there are some small small sub classes also and uh, because uh, you know they have some special features you know because you can say that uh, um, just a cat is different from dog, uh, horse is different from cow and so on. Although they all belong to the bigger class of animals, however, they are different. So what we can say that there are uh, just a smaller classes and they are all common now. Likewise, you can say that uh, fruit itself is a common noun. It is a bigger class once again. Uh, but within fruit, we can say there is a small class of mango, guava, apple, orange, you know. And so... Uh, within mango we can say there are many kinds of mangoes uh, and uh, so we can say there may be many varieties or guava and apple and so on so these are all common nouns because they are all subclasses of uh, fruit now we can say nationality is not uh, a common noun uh, however uh, we can say just nationality namely Indian, British, Americans so we are all Indians we are all British we are all American saying like this means that we are talking about the nation to which we belong so nationality on the ground of nationality too we are making a class and uh, that class namely uh, Indian British and American are also known as common noun and so here uh, we can say that uh, there is uh, uh, a class of profession and uh, there are many many uh, professional classes which uh, which fall within the class of profession so you can say teacher is a uh, class of profession and doctor businessman soldier they are all different professional classes so teacher can be called common noun doctor common noun and businessman common noun soldier common noun so they are all classes of profession so they are known as common noun so here there is a class of vehicle we can say and within that uh, class of vehicle we can say that there is a class of uh, class of bus class of car class of bike class of cycle and uh, they are different from one another we can say that they all belong to one bigger class of vehicle however bus um, just becomes different from car and car different from bike and so on due to some inherent features and so they are forming their own individual classes and there are many many buses within the class of bus and there are many many cars within the class of car and so uh, we have defined in this way that they are all common nouns now we can say that we have different kind of attire and cloth 
so there is a class of garment also we can see in general terms within that class of garment there are varieties of classes of garment like shirt like pants like jeans and so on so these are all uh, just uh, classes of uh, um, garments and clothes so shirt is common noun and the pants and jeans uh, are also common noun likewise you can say that uh, and we observe that there are just uh, classes of institutions now school is an institu in institution college is an institution university is an institution so they are all classes of institution so we uh, can easily say that uh, a school is common noun college is common noun then university is common noun because they are classes of institutions so uh, just we can take another class that is insect and uh, thousands of types of insects are found and there are just hundreds of classes of insects here but we have quoted a few like uh, flea fly bee ant they are all just classes of insects and we can say that fly bee ants are all common noun on the same ground that we have been talking and discussing that uh, they are all classes of insects likewise you can say that there is a broader class of bird bird itself is a common noun but uh, uh, it is a broader class and within that uh, broader class we say that there is a class of crow parrot mina and so on so these are different uh, classes of birds and so they are known as classes of uh, just uh, um, bird and so they are common noun now uh, similar uh, situation is all about water animal also within animal we can say there are some land animals that we have already discussed now yes here we can say there are some water animals there are some classes of water animals like a snake frog and fish so within a snake we see varieties of snakes are found many many snakes are found you know or various types and so is the case with frog and fish so they are all forming different classes and so we can say that they are all common nouns so here uh, we have just to talk about the class of relation now we are all social beings and uh, because you are social beings so there are many many social relations that you are holding here so these relations are described in terms of father mother sister and brother and so they are forming different uh, classes here of social relationship so grammatically we can identify them as common noun father common noun because it is a social relation mother is a social relation and sister and brothers are also social relations now here we have made another class of that is a flower flower itself is a bigger class you know it is why it is common noun and we know that there are many many kinds of uh, flowers so um, just individual kind of flower is forming itself a class within so rose uh, is uh, just one kind of flower so it is forming its own class within rose also we can say there are varieties but here we can limit ourselves to that extent so it is all just uh, a common noun so rose lotus daffodil they are all uh, the classes within flower so we can say that they are all common noun so now coming to the uh, further class that is of furniture and uh, we find that uh, furniture includes chair bench table and so on so they are all uh, classes of furniture and uh, furniture includes all these sub classes and these sub classes of a uh, chair bench and table are common now and now there are dwelling places also here you know we stay at different dwelling places uh, and so like hotels inns dormitory lodge so they are all uh, dwelling places so dwelling place uh, itself uh, is a class and it uh, is of many types it is of many kinds and uh, all these types and kinds of uh, dwelling places are forming a class in themselves so hotel becomes uh, a common noun and so is the case with in dormitory lodge now plaything is also a group uh, of items uh, you know we can say it is a bigger class here and uh, uh, we are using the playthings like bat it is itself a class a ball and wicket and football these are all uh, playthings and they are also forming uh, subclasses within so they are all common nouns 
then we have undertaken tree we see that this world is full with uh, so many kinds of trees here just on the earth on the planet and uh, they are different from one another so just uh, mango tree is different from neem so they are two different classes of the trees and they are all common now and uh, lastly we have taken the class of machine you know like watch radio television fan etc so they are just uh, forming many numbers and it is in this way we can identify on the basis of these kind of classes uh, the common noun that we have so we have noticed one thing that when you try to identify the common noun we should understand that uh, there is a class identity with common noun there is a group identity with common noun or there is sometime a bigger group of common noun and within that bigger group we can find there are so many smaller groups within common noun and so it is in this way we are making just a class and class and within class within class and within class so they are all forming common noun but in case of proper noun it doesn't happen that when we say one word like navin there is no further class of navin uh, maybe there are many many navins but uh, they are final in themselves they do not make for the classes a tree makes for the classes when we talk about navin just it is just of one navin that we are talking that is itself a class there is no further item that we can add two navins are two different things uh, on the basis of uh, just uh, uh, you know their uh, uh, just features so saying that thing we can say that navin is human being but uh, so uh, just uh, and uh, navin is ma'am so man becomes common because he belongs to a group a class man but he is the only one and uh, by by this word we know that we are talking about one particular navin only not of many navins because when you are talking about many navins then we get confused we simply cannot uh, make our just idea clear so it is what the difference uh, is there between proper noun and common noun that we should always have and on the basis of this uh, uh, difference uh, we are going to use these things in our sentence and uh, the, this idea can be very much helpful to understand the nouns and use them properly correctly in the sentences and understanding the semantic value of that noun also which are used in the sentence so i think that uh, it is enough for today that we have given a general introduction about common noun we have made certain comparison with common noun uh, um, and uh, a proper noun uh, because i have already told you that there is little difference and there is thin line of difference between them and on this basis we can uh, differentiate between these two nouns and uh, it will be very much helpful for you to understand and to identify so thank you very much for listening to this lecture and watch